and analysis. So position wise, you can see already that your back oh, is a little yeah. too angled. Yeah. You know, you can see I'm a little taller to my here, my right there view. Um, and that right arm is tended to be away from your body. See all that gapping in space yeah. there? Yeah. You want to tuck that in. And simply that's just keeping the right arm closer to your side of your body. But how I would start your swing is I would put the club head behind the ball, which you do a good job of. It's square the target. And then raise the shaft angle. So the club's positioned more at your waist. Okay. Right? So by starting that way and taking your grip, you can actually walk in and start from a taller position as far as your spine angle and then a little knee flex. So you remain balanced, but you're not, you know, so crowded and hunched, okay. right? And the other thing is just keeping the right arm, as I said, tucked. If you're looking at yourself in a mirror at home, you should see part of your left forearm in a mirror from this angle, like you can see with mine. Right. And all we see is your right arm. Okay. Right? So that'll help get you used to squaring. So we're going to watch you take it away in the positions you're in, just to show you. So from how you're positioned, club's going to move kind of out or away from the ball, the club head a little bit. Because see how you just kind of released your arm? Right. I'd love you to start that way. Look at your arms now. That's Your shoulder's now square, but you kind of had to hitch the club this way first and then hope you can trigger the rest. So, again, it slides out the club head or away from the ball. As you continue back, now your wrists and arms pick up the club. You cock your wrists, and you place the club up over your shoulders, right? But same thing as our last gentleman, Jesse. Because you, you know, weren't aligned the best way, your legs tend to spread apart. Look at the daylight between your knees, right? Okay. See, that's you just picking the club ah. up with your upper body. Okay. And yeah. since your legs aren't in the easiest of positions to just pivot you through, you've got to reflex the right knee, clear the left hip, and throw the club from the over-the-top position. So the club head comes just outside the ball line again, or in front of the ball, and you slap across it. And that when you were late with the turning of your hands, and it went right. And that's going to happen quite often, and sometimes you'll get it early and you'll pull it, and you'll hit some straight shots too, obviously, right? But that's too much hit and miss. Right. I'd like the club to go back for you in a little more of a direct path from the ball, the club head, not away. And it's much easier to do so if you're set up and aligned properly with your body and balance to turn and then pivot on through. You'll have less moving parts to your swing is what's going to come. So really apply posturing and good upper body alignment for all your clubs in the future. So just gives you